Hey all you whiskey fans. Today we're going to talk about an interesting, let's say, definition or clarification to why do the colors in whiskey uh, change so much? Why are some dark? Why are some lighter? And maybe how can we tell a little bit more about the whiskey without even reading the label, uh, depending on what the color of that whiskey looks like? Now, uh, what many, let's say, new to the whiskey game might think is that age is a standard definition of color. The older a whiskey, the darker the color. However, that's not always the case. It's also wrong to say that's never the case. But here are some examples of, uh, let's say, some different whiskeys, some with different age statements on there. And as you're going to see, the colors in these vary quite a lot. So this one here is uh, a whiskey from uh, Waterloo. Uh, it's actually a Mount St. Jean whiskey. I hope I said that correctly. But it's a whiskey that I recently picked up while I was in Belgium. Another whiskey, um, this is from a friend of the uh, whiskey channel and a friend of mine from the Volange Collective. They are a group of Swiss uh, youngsters which always bring uh, or go to Ireland and bring a very interesting special bottle of whiskey with them. I'm talking about this today because, as you can see here, it's 11 years old and it's a second uh, Phil bourbon barrel. Now, check out the color there and check out the color here. Now, just to totally throw you in for a uh, little bit of a whirlwind and experience, check out the color of this bottle of Jack Daniels. Well, Armand. Jack Daniels isn't known for making very old whiskeys and well, I mean now they do release a 10 year and some other whiskeys, but this isn't one of them. This is, we're gonna guess, cause it doesn't say anything on it here, but over four years, I'm gonna guess under eight years by the taste of it. Now, this one, 11 years and way lighter. So, I heard this analogy and actually I read it from um, in a book by a, uh, well, by a brand ambassador, Brown Foreman, and he has a very good analogy for why the colors of all these three whiskeys are different and why it has nothing to do with age. What we're actually seeing here is the influence of the barrel. And the barrel is in many ways like a tea bag or a bag of tea when you put it in tea. The idea being the first time you use it, you have a lot of aroma from the wood and you have a lot of color from the wood. And as you go from one whiskey to the next and the barrel gets used either for the very first time, for the second time becoming an ex-bourbon barrel, or the third time becoming a second fill bourbon barrel, that was a lot of bourbon barrels to talk about, you start to see a reduction in color. This also plays a factor into what the whiskey smells like. Why is that? Because the more you use the tea bag, not only do you get less color, but you get less flavor out of it. This isn't always a bad thing. Don't think that less flavor means necessarily a bad whiskey. What that actually means is in this whiskey, you get way different flavors than this one. And not to mention way, way different flavors than this one here. So it's all up to you, kind of your palate, what you like. I've know people which, like myself, love bourbon. So we love that new oak taste and the new oak flavor, over oakiness, dryness in the throat, overly vanilla, overly sweet. And there's others that want to see more malty characters, or some might say even more complex characters. This is also why you don't age so much when you're using a bourbon barrel. It's not because there's not enough stock. There's a lot of bourbon in the warehouses out there getting old. However, if you get too old on a bourbon barrel, sometimes you get too much wood flavor and too much wood is quickly too much wood. So it's something that most people keep an eye out for and most master distillers would say somewhere under the 10 year mark is, is a good age for a bourbon. Some might even argue it's too much, but it all depends on the new make going into it. Now, of course, there's one final type of bourbon we haven't talked about or type of whiskey we haven't talked about, and that is whiskey which is aged or finished 
in a different type of barrel, so non-ex bourbon barrel. This can be a wine barrel, this can be a sherry or a port wine. It, ideally, it can be any type of wood. The rule that, or what we just talked about, is very true if you're talking ex bourbon. But if you're using any other type of whiskey, or are you seeing a whiskey which is a little bit red in color, it could be dark, it could be light, it's still whiskey, nothing's been added to it. It's probably just been in a wood, sherry, whiskey, some other type of barrel. Still worth a shot and they're all good. Just be aware, if you're only buying whiskey because you think the color is darker and it's going to be older and better, that's not always the case. My advice, try all of them. They're probably all delicious. While you're doing it, cheers to you and your next glass of whiskey, regardless of the color. Bye now.